My name is uh, Jim Manili, and yes. I'm uh, the chef and owner of Revolution in downtown Durham. Um, just going through some favorite books that I'm reading right now is um, Washington's Crossing by David Hackett Fisher. And um, I'm a big history buff, so getting into uh, you know these books tends to spark you know a little bit of insight into what. What was going on, and um, Washington's Crossing is a pretty interesting book in the sense that it um, really focuses on, on Washington, but he really wasn't a pretty bad general. <laughs> and uh, it really focuses on a, a turning point in the war in terms of uh, him sort of realizing uh, the differences between uh, the old style of war and, and, and what needed to happen to win and morale being at its all time low. Uh, and, and after the defeat in, in New York, um, how everything was just seeming to crater, and he was, uh, the Continental Congress was trying to get rid of him and, and uh, wasn't sure he was the right man for the job any longer. Uh, and it wasn't until he really decided that uh, tactics and warfare uh, needed to change, because at that point, um, the average English soldier, private, was in uh, the English Army for nine years, and, and the average American was in for maybe three months. So they really couldn't go toe to toe, and uh, obviously morale was, uh, you know, pretty poor. Um, and then finally, deciding to uh, cross the Delaware in the middle of the night and, and take um, victories in Princeton and Trenton, which really turned everything around. Without those, it seems uh, it, it might have been a different outcome. So, Washington's Crossing. Hopefully, you enjoy it as much as I have.